Hey there, everybody. Tom Spiller with Basecamp Trading. It is Tuesday, May 9th, and we're going to take a look at the euro on a daily. And one of the setups from, if you're a member last night in the members only swing trade setup video, we talked about this bearish engulfing candle here in the euro. So this is going to be in the part of the naked trading or price action trading series that we're doing on YouTube here. But we're going to talk about a candlestick pattern. And this is what's called an outside bar bearish engulfing pattern. It's a very bearish setup. Now you can also have a bullish engulfing pattern, which would be the exact opposite. Now, the way this works, what you want to see, and one of the big things that people don't look for, or forget to look for when they're looking for bullish or bearish engulfing is for the gap up. If it's a bearish engulfing, it has to gap up. If it's a bullish engulfing, it has to gap down. So in this case, we gapped up yesterday above the absolute high of Friday's price bar. We engulfed the entire range. So we came all the way down and closed below the lowest point of Friday's price bar. So you had a bearish engulfing bar. It's called an outside bar bearish engulfing because you engulf the entire range, not just the body of the previous candle. Okay, so make sure you keep an eye out for this type of setup. What this means is first buyers came in, the gap prices up, okay, it started off strong. And then the sellers came back and said, slow your horses. And we engulfed the entire range and took back all those gains and more. Okay, so it shows a lot of buying pressure came into the market that day. Then that triggers... That trade triggers when it breaks the low of the engulfing bar. So it triggered on the break of yesterday's low, which was down at 1.09375. So once it triggered, then we started to accelerate lower. We ran into previous pivot low here for support. And the last little bit of support you'll have uh, is that 1.08770. Now, if you're in the trading room, you know we talked about it was time to take profits today um, already because you hit significantly undervalued unless you're going for a counter trend swing trade. So that's all I have for you for today. Actually, you know what? I'm going to add to that. Um, we've talked about using multiple time frames before, I believe. And one of the things that added to this setup, and again, we discussed this in uh, the end of day video, but if you also look at your weekly price charts, so you're taking a, even a bigger picture approach to this, the euro gapped right up against this weekly downtrend line, which serves as resistance. Okay, so not only do we have their trend line there, we also had the bearish engulfing. And it wasn't just normal bearish engulfing, it was an outside bar bearish engulfing. And then if you want to drill down even further, and instead of trading this, you could have been entering even sooner before yesterday closed based on the 240 minute bar, outside bar bearish engulfing coming off of the uh, weekly trend line as well. So a couple different topics that were covered today. <laughs> what an outside bar bullish or bearish engulfing is. And also make sure you look at your multiple time frames because the more time frames that we can get lining up in the same direction, the stronger or better the signal is going to be for an absolute for a particular trade. All right, don't forget to click the link to subscribe in the bottom right hand corner here. Also, I'll link back to the playlist that has all the different price action trading videos if you haven't seen that series here on YouTube. And that's it for today. Have a good one. And until next time, happy trading.